welcome to another edition of Entrepreneurs and did I grab the Baba? Entrepreneurs and Fuego. We are documenting your journey, one digital footprint at a time. You look stunning, well, thank Dr. You. Jacobson. Thank you. Red is a very powerful color. Thank you. You look phenomenal, Dr. Karen Jacobson. Tell yes. us a little bit more about you. What would you like to know? I'd like to know what you do. Exactly what you exactly do. what I do. Yes, ma'am. Everything. Everything. Okay, um, I'm a high performance strategist, and what I do. What does that mean? What what it means basically is that I show entrepreneurs, yes. executives, and community leaders how to play at the top of their game, while they're able to regain balance in their life, remove any limitations, so that they can really tap into that power within, unlock their potential, and just live an extraordinary life. And how do we do that? We do that. I do that. Exactly. I, I do that. It takes two. Yes, it does. So what I will do is I will guide someone through a process where they can really discover their own inner truth. I do that through different techniques, whether it's through NLP, which is neuro-linguistic programming, timeline therapy, hypnotherapy, and developing other skill sets so that they can not only remove any barriers, any limiting beliefs, any negative emotions, but really get to the core and the essence of what makes them tick. What is the hardest part, though, in doing this thing? Is, is the hardest part that you find that the entrepreneur may not realize that he or she needs to do this in order to go to a next level? Or Sometimes we are limited by our own limitations. In other words, we, we think that we're, we're working at our best and our limitations are basically subconscious beliefs. Most of the time we're really operating with just 5% of our conscious mind. So our subconscious mind is really what drives us. Uh, let me give you an example. I call that the marionette effect. So have you ever watched marionettes yes. where they play? Well, a, a really good marionette looks like they have a, a complete control of what's going on around them. And the truth is, there's someone up here who's playing with the wires. And if they're really good, that marionette could look like they're totally lifelike and totally moving sure. as much as possible. That's the same thing with our subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is the puppeteer that sits up front, up on top, giving that marionette the movement because, as I said, 95% of our activities, our thoughts, everything that we do is part of habit and part is driven by our beliefs, by our experiences, by our values in life, and really our blueprint of the way we see the world. And, and those things are things that have been created from the time we were little tots. So what's the major barrier? What is the major limitation that we entrepreneurs, and I, I would hate to, to, to paint every entrepreneur with a broad brush, but what is the major obstacle that you see that is common of entrepreneurs uh, that prevents us from reaching that higher stage? We get in our own way. And what I mean by the fact that we get in our own way is especially entrepreneurs can be really big on wanting to serve and help others and the aspect of attending to themselves and, and really serving from their abundance is what can stand in the way. You know, one of the things that I work when I work one-on-one -on -one with clients, I talk about setting personal rituals on a daily basis. Now, it's something mm. that a lot, of, a lot of personal development coaches, business coaches will talk about. And one of the things that I hear from people on a regular basis is, well, I, I don't really have time because I've got all of this to do on my schedule. Well, if, if we're going to go and let's, let's take a drive to California. And right let's now. just, right now, right now, let's go downstairs, get in the car. Is there maybe one thing we might want to check before we leave? Do I have gas in my car? Did Five on that one. Okay. Because we can only drive as far as the amount of gas that we're going to have. Was that the right answer? That's an awesome answer. It is the right answer. Because of the fact that... You should check this. You're getting all this? Because it is the fact that in order to be able to move forward and forward, you have to be able to tap into your own resources. So if your car is on empty and you have no gas, you're not gonna get anywhere. I agree. So in order to really be able to serve others out of abundance, you gotta create abundance. 
part of creating that abundance is fulfilling yourself first so that you have more to give to others. How long have you been doing this? Oh, uh, this has been my life journey. Did, Just, did you work at corporate before or was what, were you always an entrepreneur? I've always been an entrepreneur. I, I started my entrepreneurial business when I was about 11. How did you know that you had that skill? Or, or was it something that you knew you had? Because there's got to be a passion there that... It, that was, it wasn't the knowledge, it was the passion. Okay. See, I, I believe that what drives us comes from our heart. The way we process it and the how comes from our head. Can you teach somebody to be an entrepreneur? Oh, absolutely. You can teach them the skills and you can help them ignite their passion. And the way to ignite their passion is to tap. Look, everyone is going to have something that is a little juicy. And one of the things that, like when I work with people one-on-one, -on -one, one of the things that I say and people come to me, I say, well, well I'm, I don't have that skill and I'm not really passionate about, I don't know what I'm passionate about. Well, let's find out. Go back to your childhood. So you help people find their passion. Absolutely. And that's, that's hard, right? I mean, because how, how do I know what I'm good at? Well, that's why we go back to what made you smile and made you dance and made you happy and joyful when you were little. You made me smile and joyful right now. Look at, you know, you look stunning. You, you know, we're going to California after that. I get full tank of gas. Well, you know, <laughs> being, being all you can be is what high performance is all about. And it's not just about having that business that's going to keep you on the top. It's about having the life. It's about having the health. It's about having the friendships, the relationships, the love. It's about knowing that, you know, I know I was put here for a reason, and I have one chance. I don't get to do life over again. All right. Now I can do life at this level, and just, you know, kind of like, let's just let life pass me by. Or I can really live life, like you would say, in fuego. Yes. Fire with passion to know that my passion is directed in every area in my life so that I can really gain the most and give the most in every area. Uh, two entrepreneurs, both of them have passion. One is more successful than the other. All things being equal, forget whatever they're selling, it's the same. What is the difference? What makes one entrepreneur with passion more successful than the other? Without knowing specifically, sure, one of the things that I would venture to say, one has more self-limiting beliefs and more fear than the other. And the other one, despite the fear, one of the things that I talk about is friend your fear. Because we all have fear and anyone who's going to tell you... How do you deal with fear? I face it. You know, growing up, when I grew up in Israel, I went through two wars. I went through going through living through terror attacks. And, and then having other issues that came up in my, in my family and... Those things, they were the fact. I could either do or die. Is there anything that you're not afraid of? Um, there's probably things I'm afraid of. I you just don't like little, them. just don't like little critters. <laughs> Especially ones that like either slime me or like run really fast. <laughs> but th the truth is, you can have a fear, face the fear, and make friends with it, know why it's there. You know, when people are, especially entrepreneurs, when they're afraid of the future, it's because they're afraid of the unknown for the most part. And the problem is that they don't create options. Most people that are afraid of the unknown is because they're afraid of what might happen, which most of the time actually never does happen. But if you had a plan, A, B, and C, if this happens, this is what I do. If that happens, that is what I'll do. And if choice C happens, that is what I'll do. So the moment, okay, the, moment, the moment you put your life in, uh, into a contingency uh, strategy, then pretty much your fears are gone. I think so. You know, years ago when I, I was working one-on-one, -on -one, I had a healer that, that I worked with when I had to break through some of my own barriers. And, and she shared something that, that I share with the world that I think is beautiful. In every single pos opportunity, every single situation, there are opportunities and possibilities. Sure. And she goes, and it's called like the butterfly effect. There's always possibilities. Sure. What holds people back is when they don't see possibility. And when they don't see possibility and they feel like there's something that's done unto them and they become a victim of their circumstances, that's the way they're in their lockdown. 
you know, I, I hear from, from everybody, well, is your, is your glass half full? Is it half empty? It's what overflowing. Is, damn straight, baby. It's got water and it's overflowing all the time. Exactly. So, so long as you have water in your cup, then you have hope. As long as you've got breath in your, in, in your body. You know, I wake up in the morning and, and I remember in, you know, my background has been, was years of chiropractic practice and personal development. And in my practice, I would have patients come in and I would say, good morning. And I remember I had this one patient, well, what's so good about it? I said, let's see, did you wake up this morning? Okay. Did you discover that you're awake and you're alive? And they just would give me this like puzzled look. I'm like, well, then it's a good day. <laughs> because you're awake and you're alive. And you have the opportunity to create whatever you choose to create right now. Best advice you got? Best advice is to really live your life based on what makes you happy. You know, uh, I coined this, I said, design a life of possibility rather than limitation. A life of choice, not chance. Best advice you're gonna give our entrepreneurs? For the entrepreneurs, find out what makes you tick, what lights you up, and why you're doing what you're doing. Because there has to be some passion that regardless of whatever stumbling box you might come across the way, that will keep you going. And it's not a goal, it's not a destination, it's something that is intangible, that's in your heart and it's in your soul and drives you and, and just lights you up. San Diego or Santa Barbara? San Diego, leaving on Thursday. We're out.